All right, so now uh, we can, um, I think we're getting to a point where we can start actually adding some real details on this. Uh, let's do another divide. And so this is definitely one of my favorite brushes to work with. Uh, when you get to this point, things start to get a little bit more exciting. So um, hit um, B, D, um, S for damn standard. You can see it right here. And um, this thing is awesome. It just basically like kind of, you can see the, up here on the brush preview that it kind of just like, it makes like cuts and slashes and stuff like that. So um, you can really start to, let's make this a little bit smaller. And you can see like if I, if I cut right on it, it makes like really fine lines. So you can really start to carve out like exact details in the mesh and stuff like, I mean, you can't do that with any other brush here. And then you could even, you know, if you click the alt, uh, it adverts and you can go along the edges and kind of really harden things up and make them look really, really nice. So you could get some really nice details here. So I just did that as like a quick little demonstration, but let's get that off. Let's just, um, I went back one too far. Let's just divide that again. And let's just start actually sculpting some details that we might want in here. So I know I kind of wanted the, this nose to be separated by a ledge here. And then you can just smooth. And let's do this, uh, the negative, the alt on here to make a little line going across. Kind of paint some and let's smooth that and let's do the same thing here might have to because of the way this is modeled we might kind of have to have a little yeah well, i can't go completely straight with the line there but that already is starting to look really cool right there um, let's do a little bit in here and Let's make it our draw size a little bit larger so we can get a little bit more out of it. And I'm going to just run that across here as well as here so you can start making the... That's really cool with the symmetry. You see it just like coming across on each side and it's really like just tightening up that, that ledge there. You can get some really cool lines by working with this. I mean, you can actually even, you know, start hand, start hand sculpting all your little crevices and cracks and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff once, uh, once you get up to another subdivision or higher. But I just did a couple there just for fun. Um, let's do, let's see here. Um, definitely going to want to do in between here where the shells are the crack in between the shells and then let's do the alt there. just to bring that hard line up and let's see here let's bring that hard line all the way into the mouth Do the same thing right here. Sculpt in another shell piece. And as you can see, I mean, this is just, this is where a ZBrush really starts to get fun. You can, you, you're just basically just drawing your, all your detail right on the model. I mean, that's, that's just so cool. I mean, like if you've ever worked in another, program like um, I, I do a lot of work in 3d studio max and like just before ever modeling like this you know this was like a dream just being able to paint right on the model like this it's just really cool Let's see maybe another one right here I don't really look 
starting already starting to look pretty cool. Let's I zoomed in I zoomed out a little far there. So that is the basic gist of the damn standard brush. Um, obviously, you know you're gonna want to continue to keep building on all this uh, detail and just keep building it up. Um, you can even like at this point. Um, you can even switch back to your um, clay build up a little bit and build up some more details inside these areas to go to your next um, level of detail there to get a little bit more texture. Or again, you can use your standard. These are really the, the main brushes that I use to create these kind of things. I just kind of go back and forth between these ones and there are a lot of brushes to mess with it uh, in ZBrush and I haven't really messed with too many of them I kind of probably should do that I've kind of gotten comfortable with these ones and uh, it's all just kind of just playing with them um, but these ones you can def definitely get super far with I know a lot of ZBrush users just um, who just use uh, a handful of things so a handful of the brushes sorry so let's just zoom out again and you can as you can see there is already a lot more detail coming in here and basically got to go around and do the entire head at this level and um, then we're going to subdivide again and start adding even more detail like I said like cracks wrinkles uh, we're going to use maybe the snake hook brush to uh, add some um, like spikes and bumps and stuff going around the edges and we're also going to play with the um, stroke uh, so that we can get some those let's see if we have in the um, in the reference folder let's see see how crabs have these little these little bumps going around all the edges so we're, we're going to play with some brushes and some uh, strokes and stuff to, to get that kind of effect going on. I'm going to stop this video here and then um, uh, finish the head and I'll come back when that's done and we'll start the next video. And or I'm going to finish this level of detail and then we'll move on to the next subdivision.